Number 426, in how many different ways can four people finish a race? Now, you need to be familiar with permutations and combinations. When dealing with permutations, the order matters. For combinations, the order doesn't matter. Let's say if we have the four letters A, B, C, D, and we want to choose three of the four letters. Let's say we choose A, B, C, and A, C, B. Notice that the way that, that the letters are arranged are different. So this will be a permutation of two because you have two different ways in which you could arrange the letters. But in terms of combinations, this will be viewed as one combination because you're still combining the same three letters, A, B, C. So that's one combination, but two permutations. So for permutations, the order matters. So if you have the same letters, but arranged differently, these are treated as two different permutations. But for combinations, the order does not matter. So ABC and ACB, they're treated as one combination because you're still combining the same three letters, A, B, C. Now, let's say if we were to choose A, B, D and B, C, D. These are two different permutations. They're completely different. They're also two different combinations because the letters are not the same. They're different. So this will be two different permutations and two different combinations. But these two, one combination, two different permutations. Now, when you get a question that says, in how many different ways, that's a key in telling you that you're dealing with a permutation problem. Usually when you see that, in how many different ways can you do this or you could do that, you're likely dealing with a permutation problem where the order matters. So let's answer this question. In how many different ways can four people finish a race? All four of them are going to finish the race. The only thing that's going to differ is the order in which they finish the race. So you can see that the order matters. This is a permutation problem. So any one of the four race, the four runners can be in first place. So we have four people that can be here. Now, when one person occupies first place, you have three individuals left over. So only the remaining three can occupy the second place, one of the remaining three. Now you have two people left over. If two people already occupy first and second place, then one of the remaining two individuals can occupy third place. But since you have two options, you have to put two here. Once these three positions are filled, there's only one person that can occupy last place. So using the fundamental constant principle, this would be four times three times two, which is 24. Now you can also solve this using the permutation formula. The permutation formula is NPR. And it's equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial. So NPR, you're choosing, you're taking R from a group of N. In this case, we're taking four individuals from a group of four. So this is going to be 4P4. We're choosing four out of the group of four. So both N and R are four in this problem. So we're going to have four factorial over four minus four factorial. Four factorial is four times three times two times one. Zero factorial is just one. So this will give you the same answer of 24. D is the right answer.